The movie begins somewhere in the Pacific Ocean. A very massive storm diverted a shipment of a major company to a close-by island. When the storm ended, a group of animal species finds out that the storm had brought some weird containers to their island. The animals check the boxes, and as the youngest one in the family climbs on top of one of them, it however activated a robot. The animals distance themselves in fear as the robot comes out of the container. The robot introduced itself as the Universal Dynamics Utilitarian Robot. She calls herself Rosam7134, but Roz for short. It tells the animals that he is capable of following any commands, but the animals who didn't understand what he was saying leaves. A very heavy wave interrupted this moment. The robot tries to climb a high mountain to escape the wave, but it keeps falling back down. It sees the way a crab climbs the mountain and decided to copy its movement and it made him to successfully climb up. The robot grabs the crab and scans it to know if it's her owner or if the crab needed help, but it was of no use. Rox realizes she is left alone, so he proceeds to associate herself with the other animals in the forest, looking for her rightful owner. Roz tries to assist them, but they in return, reject her assistance and push her away. All her efforts to make peace with the wildlife proved to be futile, as they continued to make life miserable for her. A depressed Roz then decides to go into learning mode, so she could understand the animals and probably learn their language. She sits still for days while she successfully downloads all animal languages. After her self-learning mode, Roz is able to understand her language now. One of the locals asks if she was sent to kill them. Roz tries to explain her mission to them, but they don't believe her as they all panic, running for safety. Roz then decides to activate her transmitting antenna to return to her company, but during a storm, her antenna is broken and it results in a massive crash out. When Roz tries to recover herself, she notices that some raccoons are trying to steal her components. She manages to get rid of them as they attack her in numbers. Although one of the raccoons manages to run away with her antenna, she chases after him, but then ends up in a bear's cave. Rox manages to get her antenna, but in return subscribe for trouble as the wild bear tries to tear down Roz in a hot pursuit. Roz escapes death but lands on a goose net, destroying the goose and its eggs except for one. She tries to protect the last egg, but a cunning fox snatches it away from the robot. Roz goes after the fox, and after a long pursuit, she is able to recover the egg. The fox gets into trouble with a porcupine, but Roz is able to save him. Just then, the egg hatches into a gosling. The little goose considers Roz to be her mother after an intense look. Although Roz feels its mission with the gosling is over as she lets him be, but the gosling always finds its way back to Roz. Just then, Roz sees a mother possum with her children, so the robot quickly places the gosling amidst them, but the mother possum soon notices and then hands over the gosling back to Roz. At first, the mother possum is afraid and pretends to be dead, but after she realizes that the robot has no interest in harming them, she proceeds to return the gosling to Roz. Although Roz refuses to take back the gosling saying it's been stalking her. Mother possum tells Roz that she is officially a mother and needs to take care of the gosling, but Roz declines saying her priority is to return to the factory and her manufacturer. Mother Possum then gives Roz the task of taking care of the gosling. With no clue on how to be a mother, Roz is told that the gosling needs to learn how to swim and fly before the winter migration. Roz begins her parenting, as her target is to feed the gosling, teach it how to swim and then fly. But she turns out to be the worst mother, as she has no expertise in that field. Seeing that every one of her attempts results in failure, Think the Fox decides to help her, although at first Roz doesn't trust him because he tried to eat the gosling before. Fink promises that he has turned a new leaf, and he just wants to help. He takes Rose to go hunt for food, but at the end of the day, we notice that the fox is just trying to fill his own belly and use the robot to his advantage. The gosling seems to not be eating any of the food the fox suggested. When Roz complains that it isn't working, the fox quickly brings out earthworms to feed the gosling. He knew all along and just wanted to use the robot to feed himself. With the first mission done, Roz proceeds to the next target, which is teaching the gosling how to swim. The fox advises Roz that in order to teach the gosling, they need to make sure it's kept safe from wild animals, so together they proceed to make a shelter where they will all live. Later that night, Roz tries to name the gosling after numbers, but Fink advises that it will be more passionate if the gosling is given a nice name rather than codes, so Roz names the gosling Brightbill because of the way its eyes shine. Brightbill can't sleep, the fox suggests that Roz tells him a bedtime story. When the robot couldn't make up any, Fink proceeds to tell Brightbill about how Roz became his mother, making up a fiction filled with happy and emotional sequences so Brightbill will be calm and eventually fall asleep. 
After a period of time, Brightbill had grown into a goose, with Roz teaching him how to swim. Fink thinks he has gotten to the age where he faces his challenges alone, so he pushes Brightbill into the river so he can improve his swimming and overcome his fear. During his swimming exercise, Roz fears that he will drown so he sends a part of his robot to watch and guide Brightbill. Brightbill gets to meet other geese, he is bullied for his awkward nature and inability to swim like them. They tell him that he is the child of a monster and he will never be one of them. When Roz notices that the bullying is endangering Brightbill's life, he immediately comes to his rescue. There they tell Brightbill that Roz killed his actual parents and he shouldn't refer to the robot as his mother. Brightbill becomes sad and then walks out on Roz. Later that day, he inquires to know the truth about his real mother. Roz tells him that everything happened as an accident and he hid the information from him because he felt it wasn't going to assist Brightbill in accomplishing his required targets. During an argument, Brightbill reprimands Roz for hiding such vital information from him. He is disappointed as he storms out of the nest, saying Roz isn't his real mom and his chances of learning how to swim and fly were lost gone. He becomes resentful and decides to get away from them. Meanwhile, Roz comes across another module from the Rosam robot wreckage. She activates a message explaining in detail about where she came from, her community, and her purpose. She activates the module, trying to find a solution for her growing increase in emotions, saying she now processes tasks with emotions and not a robot. The module is confused and doubts that the alpha processor could be feeling something other than what it is programmed for. After running a diagnostic on Roz, the robot module gets to find out that she has been overrunning programs, she labels Roz defective, saying she needs to return to the factory where she was created. The module gives her a transmitter that will call her manufacturers, just then she shuts down. In an emotional moment, Fox finds Roz sitting all alone, she tells him that they had ruined everything, and she wants to return back to her community so they can fix her. Fink the fox tries to discourage her from leaving, reminding her of the task at hand, but Roz doesn't feel Brightbill needs them. Fox insists, saying Brightbill is running out of time, as the winter migration is approaching soon. Roz gives in, and they both approach Brightbill. At first, he refuses to let them coach him, saying they have no idea on how to fly, but Roz assures him that she doesn't give up on a task, and after he learns everything, they can both go their separate ways. The next few days, Roz teaches Brightbill all she knows about flight movements, but it still wasn't paying off. The other goose laughs at him, saying his wings are too small and weak to fly high. Roz brings in Thunderbolt to be Brightbill's new teacher. With his motivation, Brightbill is able to fly high and navigate through the air. Just as Brightbill is practicing, Longneck, one of the leaders of the goose migration comes to commend Roz for a job well done, as he has been watching them all along as they trained. Longneck encourages Roz to continue training Brightbill as they will leave in a week. He tells Rose to train him more especially on endurance as they have a tough journey ahead. The next few days, Brightbill continues to train really hard as he prepares for the migration. On the day of the migration, Brightbill is brought to Longneck. He thanks Roz for all she has done and promises to put Brightbill under his wing. Longneck tells Brightbill that Roz is a blessing to his life and he should give her the credit she deserves. In an emotional scene, Brightbill requests for a boost as he prepares to join the others in flying. Finding it difficult to let go of Roz, he asks if she will still be around when he comes back, but she doesn't see the possibility. He finally lets go, as Roz holds back her bursting emotions, she couldn't take it anymore, as she goes after Brightbill to see him again for the final time. She is unnerved at how she overrode her programming, becoming attached to the bird, and is emotional that he left. When Fox approaches her, they try to hide their feelings and then pretend like they are going to go about their normal life. Winter arrives and all the animals go back into its cave for shelter. However, Roz activates her communication module, just then it shows up at the Universal Dynamics headquarters before she shuts it off. Meanwhile, Brightbill regrets that he didn't say his last words to Roz, but Longneck reminds him that the heart also holds its conversation, and his feelings might have been communicated. Just then a thunderstorm makes the geese run for safety, they go over to hide in a futuristic greenhouse. Brightbill sees a Rosam robot and mistakes him for Roz, but then the robots attack the birds as they presume them to be pests. Longneck notices that Brightbill's familiarity with Rose makes him the only goose not afraid of the monstrous robots, so he asks him to lead the flock away from the greenhouse. During their escape, the robots fire lasers at them, but Longneck sacrifices himself in the process, saving the flock. The scene switches to Rose who awakens in her shelter and finds Fink the fox. He tells her about the severe winter and how everyone is hiding from the snowstorm. Roz finds out that the animals are in danger, but Fink couldn't care less as he is ready to have the whole jungle to himself next spring. 
Roz motivates him saying they never liked him for one day, and now he has the chance to be a hero. The two then decide to rescue all the animals and bring them to the shelter. Roz is able to save both sea and land animals including the dangerous bear. Because of the dangerous snowstorm she becomes terribly weak depleting her batteries as a result. The predators and prey together create a chaotic environment as everyone begins fighting each other. Fink becomes angry as he orders them to stay quiet. He gives an emotional speech as reminds them that they would be dead from the cold if not for Ra's compassion, the same robot they all label the monster. The animals begin to realize their mistakes as they resent for what they've done. Roz then asks for a truce as her final request before she shuts down. She tells them that they mustn't live to what they have been programmed to do. The animals agree, as the bear promises to live in harmony for at least winter. Months later, during spring, Roz awakens. She watches from a distance as the geese return. They all gather to praise Brightbill as their hero. Roz is happy that Brightbill has finally found his family, so she proceeds to leave. On the other hand, Fink goes over to tell Brightbill that Roz waited for him, but they couldn't find her anymore as Brightbill really wants to speak to her. After concluding to return back to her factory, Roz sees a universal dynamics dropship arrive. Just then the robot Vantra descends, as she introduces herself saying that Roz has been highly sought ever since the transmitter beacon alerted them, the headquarters wants to bring her back so the unexplainable changes in her programming can be studied. Roz reluctantly agrees to go along with Vantra. However, Fake arrives saying Brightbill wants to see Roz and he has been looking all over for her. Roz makes an excuse as she leaves a ship. Determined to bring Roz back, Vantra releases an army of robots to go after her, she sends out fire as it destroys the jungle. The bear proceeds to help Fink and Roz escape this disaster and the killer programmed robots. Just then all the animals unite together as they attack the robots. Seeing that the robots have been destroyed, Vantra makes the destroyed robots self-destruct to distract the animals, igniting a massive forest fire, while she drags Roz onto the ship with aiding tractor beam. Just as the animals run for safety, Brightbill leads the geese into attacking the ship. Vantra soon notices this and then brings out her lasers, but it still isn't enough to stop a determined Brightbill, he infiltrates the ship as he locates Roz, he finds her completely shut down, but miraculously she awakens, and together they destroy Vantra as they fly out of the ship, before it explodes. Meanwhile, the other animals come together to put out the fire using a tree technique. After their victory, Roz sees all the damage and knows fully well that the Universal Dynamics will keep sending more robots after her, so she decides to leave the wildlife for their safety. Although the animals promise to stand by her and fight together, she insists that there are things she needs to put in order at the factory. After Roz leaves, the animals unite as Fink becomes a great storyteller. Sometime later, Roz can be seen working at the greenhouse, she acts like a complete robot around her manufacturers, but when she gets to see Brightbill, she shows her emotional side as they share an emotional connection. The end, if you love cartoons like this, please leave a like and subscribe.